in this tutorial we are told that three points x y and z are shown in the figure that is located at the top right corner of the screen position relative to two axes oa and what ob right draw the figure and draw an arc to pass through the three points that again so, so we have two axes the x axis the x axis is giving us what the ob which is this o that is oa that is x axis then the y axis is what is ob so let's do that first if i'm doing that i'll be having the x axis this way i'm going to thicken it you can see that and um, the y axis let me put it this way i'm going to thicken it this way right so this is o and this is a at this point x axis and this is o and this is what b that is the y axis right and we have three points x y and z point x is situated 25 millimeter away from the x axis so that means first of all i'll start with the x i'll measure 25 from here to this point here is given as what 25 all right and i'll take my z square and move it up with my paint line so along that straight line i'm going to measure a height which is this to this that is 35 so i'm going to 35 so from this this is 35 so at that point that will be my point x so i will just put in an asterisk there to situate my what my point x right now the next thing is the point y point y is look at 65 away from ob so this is the line of ob and i'm just 65 this is 65 here so on the point of 65 i'll draw a vertical line upward this way faint line then on that line i'm going to measure 25 which is um will give me point y this is 20 and this 25 right so at that point i'll draw my asterisk that will be my point y now the next one is for z z is 100 millimeter from here to here away from the point from the reference point ob so i'll measure 100 from here from this point 0 to 10 is 100 right so on that point i'll draw a vertical line upward this way so on that line to get z i'll measure a height of what 50 from oe reference point oe so i'll measure a height of 50 from this point so this is 50 here so that will be my point z so i'm going to put an asterisk there you can see that that is my point z so this is x y z now the question is we should draw an arc that will pass through each of those points you draw an arc that will pass through what each of those points x y z so the first thing you do is to draw the line connecting x and y this way you can see that faint line then the ne and also draw a line that will be touching y and z this way you can see that now the next step is to bisect I taught how to bike set. If you can't remember how to bike set, you can click 
uh, this link at the top right corner here to teach you how to buy set. Now, how can you buy set? You just place your compass between the two points you want to buy set, and I want to buy set between point Y and X this way. Right? So, with my reference XY, I'll strike an arc at the top and also at the bottom. I'll come to, with the same radius, I'll come to X, I'll strike up and I'll go towards strike down. So, let's say the point we are striking, this is where this means this is point P and this is what point Q. So, I'm going to connect P and Q together this way. So, this is my line of what? P and Q. You can see that? Similarly, I'll do the same thing for Z and Y. Right? I'll take this and I'll strike an arc at the top and also what? At the bottom. With the same radius, I'll come to Z. I'll cut up and I'll cut down. So where I bisect up, let me call there to be arrow, point arrow, and what? Point T. So I'm going to connect point arrow and T this way. Right? And I'll draw my arc. So and they are meeting at this point. Let's call it G. They're meeting at this point G. So for me to get my arc with point G as my point, I'll take it to point X, right? Then I'm going to draw the arc that I want to draw. So the arc will be cutting across those three lines. So this is the arc here. That again, so this is what we are told to do draw an arc that will pass through these three points. So, if you have um, found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.